Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner. I help busy professional women who have thyroid problems. I help them to reverse their symptoms. Namely, I help them to um, lose weight and gain energy and improve their mood. So today I'm going to talk to you about a patient that I had a case study and her name is Danielle. She was 35 years old when she came to me and she was unable to lose weight. She didn't know why. Um, that was the first symptom that she had gotten. Then she started to have less energy and um, mood problems. She had gone to her primary care physician. She told him her symptoms. He did blood work and only looked at her TSH levels for her thyroid. That came back normal. And he had told her that she just needs to eat better, go on a diet and um, exercise more. So she did change her diet, um, but she wasn't working out more because she did not have the energy to do so. So um, she found me and she asked me if I thought I could help her. So we got some additional testing done and I tested all of her thyroid hormones. So in addition to her TSH levels, we tested the free T4, free T3, total T4, total T3, um, reverse T3, and thyroid antibodies. So the TPO and the TG antibodies. And that's a full thyroid panel that most doctors don't do. Insurance companies don't wanna pay for the full panel because um, there's really nothing that, there's no drug that um, can help any of those other hormones. Um, the only drug that they have is a drug that's targeted towards TSH and that doesn't even really do anything when you take it other than just provide more problems and complicate the situation in most cases. So um, her, all, just about all of her thyroid hormones were off except for the TSH. Um, that won't show up until usually about 10 years after you've had a thyroid problem. Will the TSH show up? That's the last one to really show a problem. She also had positive TPO thyroid antibodies. And that was the cause of the problem. So really it wasn't a thyroid problem. When you have TPO or TG antibodies show up, that means you have an autoimmune condition. And that is called Hashimoto's. So... Um, I did some additional testing and, um, we found out that she did have Epstein-Barr virus. Um, so that will lower the immune system and usually there is some kind of virus involved when you do have Hashimoto's. So we worked on, um, improving her immune system, getting her immune system functioning properly again and um, we worked on dietary, um, lifestyle, environmental factors that had been going on in her life. Um, we improved her diet and then um, she had a lot of stress. So we worked on getting rid of the, the stress and um, helping her adrenal glands to normalize. And um, after about nine months, we we did some testing in between and then we did testing at nine months and um all of her tests blood work came back her thyroid blood work was normal so i just wanted to explain to you today her case and tell you that if you do have um thyroid problems or if you have problems with your weight likely you have a thyroid problem because your T3 is your active thyroid hormone that controls your metabolism. So if your T3 isn't, um, hormones aren't normal, if they're low, you're gonna have a metabolism problem. You have receptor sites on every cell in your body for thyroid hormones. So um, thyroid hormones are very, very important and it's really important to make sure that all of 
the thyroid hormones are normal. And it's also important to check the antibodies. And I just want to let you know that if you do know that you have a thyroid problem, it most likely can be reversed. As long as you haven't had um, thyroid cancer, had your thyroid, um, had radiation done on your thyroid, or have had it destroyed so much by an autoimmune condition that you really don't have thyroid function anymore, you most likely can reverse your condition naturally. And also the, um, the drugs don't work. They just downregulate your thyroid so that your thyroid isn't functioning on its own. And you keep putting more thyroid hormone in your body and your gland, your thyroid gland is just gonna stop making it, making hormone itself. So it's good to find out the root cause of the thyroid problem, fix it, and allow your body to function, it will. And most of the time, it's not even the thyroid that's the problem, which is why it's great to see a functional medicine doctor such as myself to get to the root cause of the problem and to fix that problem. And then the thyroid will start working on its own normally.